Hey guys, Justin with Ready Business Systems. Uh, today I'm going to go over uh, the basics of AdRoll. So what is AdRoll? AdRoll is a digital marketing platform and they will, they're, they're primarily for remarketing. So uh, if someone visits your website, uh, they'll then show them ads um, based on a tracking cookie they put on, the, on, your, on that user's computer. So uh, if you visit a website, generally there's some sort of um, privacy policy, but they're gonna put a little tracking cookie on your computer uh, so they know you visited their website and they can use that data however they'd like to track you across the internet. Uh, so if you wonder why you see relevant ads on the internet uh, uh, related to some website you already visited, that's why they're tracking you. So I use AdRoll, there, there's both Google AdWords also does remarketing um, and AdWords does remarketing. Uh, the primary difference is that Google AdWords does not do social, social remarketing, so they do not remarket on Instagram and Facebook. The purpose of AdRoll is it does social remarketing. So if you use a lot of Facebook um, advertising or your, or your um, clients do, your um, target audience, then Facebook is a good uh, marketing platform, or excuse me, AdRoll is a good marketing platform to remarket to your website visitors. So I'm going to go through it quickly. So. This ad campaigns is your 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 basically your overview of your campaigns. It shows you how everything's performing, the ads you have running. Uh, for my landscaping company, we run several. Some of these are outdated, but this one they can be scheduled. So we run six per year, and I put the dates here. I name the campaigns according to uh, when we run them, so they're so I know what they're about. Uh, we have $50, $59 off spring cleanup, which runs from March 1st, April 22nd. And uh, this runs in conjunction with all of our other marketing. So I've developed uh, six different marketing themes for the landscaping company that run throughout the year. So for each uh, six times throughout the year, the marketing theme changes and all of our marketing, uh, both our send gem postcards, our email marketing, our, our remarketing via ad roll, uh, our phone campaigns, they all revolve around these promotion periods and different promotions through different par times of the year to keep things fresh and keep deadlines recurring. So there's always some sort of urgency for clients to book. Uh, so again, this is our spring cleanup campaign. Uh, here it shows your budget. You can set how much you spent uh, up here. You gotta scroll up, but you can set the dates here for when you've used them. This isn't really providing much information because we weren't using it at that point. Sorry, I gotta move this out of the way again. So this is going to show from December 30th, 2018 through January 1st, 2020. Uh, so it's gonna show you some stats here. So you can change these columns, get more information, but here we have a number of impressions. This is how many, it shows right here, how many times your ad has been shown, uh, how many times your ad has been clicked, uh, click-through rate, which is a ratio of how many times it's been clicked through how many times it's been displayed, uh, conversion. So you have to set these, which I'll go through these. I don't want this popping up. It's going to distract you, but uh, it's how many times that the um, that ad has converted to something you spec specify. So for example, most of our campaigns are aimed at getting clients to fill out our estimate form, requ requesting an estimate on the service. So this overall just shows you the success of your campaign. Uh, cost per acquisition, this breaks that down into a, a price, so how much you've spent for your marketing dollars and how many of them have resulted in a lead as we would uh, propose or an estimate. So overall, during that time period I selected, costs about $100 per, per lead that we get um, that we might not have otherwise acquired. Uh, so if we put this here, I can sort this list. You can see ones we're actually using. So um, here, or if I do cost, sort it by cost, right? So um, this is cost per acquisition and it's sorted by that column. So from lowest to highest. So our packages, so during December, we do this packages campaign uh, where we try to get client upsell clients to these packages where they buy more services and get some freebies. Uh, so that was we got three conversions at $46 per conversion. So that's our cheapest one. We're obviously not getting a lot of activity from that though. Um, 11 one to 12 one, uh, $50 off fall cleanup is what this campaign is about. Uh, we have five conversions, $63 per. I uh, would keep going. Our renovation campaign is 12 conversions, $65 each. Our mowing has 13 conversions, $115. And our compost top dressing is very expensive, $344 per conversion. Uh, so we may relook at that next year. I just reorganized these campaigns this season so everything's a little fresh. 
Uh, if you run different ads and that sort of thing, you can see what's, convert what's converting better or, or less. Uh, also, there, uh, just to mention, there's a lot of um, unspoken conversions here. So uh, it, it may, this is direct conversions to people actually filled out the form, but they may have seen the ad, looked at it, and then get, went to your website and given you a call. Or they may have seen your ad, not been familiar with you, then they got your postcard in the mail, and then they give you a call from the postcard. So it's not 100% accurate as to how many conversions you're actually getting from these campaigns. So this is the overview of the campaigns and the settings, and I can open those up later and show you what those are about. Ad library, this is where you actually create your ads. If you're not too good with Photoshop and that sort of thing, uh, Adro will create ads for you. I can't speak much about them because I've always created our own, but these are the ads that run for our, each of those campaigns to keep things fresh. They have to be certain sizes, it says right here, uh, the, for, for Facebook. Um, based on where they're displayed. They could have more than 20% text. So the criterion ad roll is based on the criteria required by Facebook and they will try to approve your ad and if it doesn't go through, they will they will uh, decline the ad and you will have to make a new ad. Um, and these are the different sizes for the different areas. Uh, so only certain ads will show in certain areas uh, for your marketing. Uh, inside these ads, or I'll, I'll do that later, but you're going to actually select, actually open it up for you. So this is inside one of our, actually, this is our compost top dressing campaign right here. Let's open this up. It tells you, you can select the text that goes in each place. Uh, it shows you what they're going to look like in each position. Uh, what, what website it lands to. We have special uh, landing pages for each, for each ad campaign. Uh, and the text goes in there, pretty basic. Uh, audiences, this is very important. This is where you specify who you want to see the ads. Uh, so we, and you have to set these up. Uh, this is also where you set up this pixel. The pixel is code you put on your website. If you don't know how to do that, we can do that for you. Uh, Ready Business Systems or uh, your website developer. But basically, this is the code for that cookie I was talking about earlier. Uh, so this is this needs to be on your website, this code, so that ad roll can track your visitors that go to your website. Otherwise, you can still display the ads. You just won't be able to... Uh, you won't be able to see your conversions. Nothing will work in terms of the conversions. So this is how it tracks the pages. So. Uh, we have a thank you page. This is again. This is our this is our conversion. Um, so anyone who lands on this page and the the um, ad roll knows based on that tracking cookie that they visited this website. This page, thank you. So thank you for us means that they submitted the estimate form. This is our conversion. Uh, so if someone visits the website, fills out a form, the only way they get to the thank you for requesting an estimate is if they fill out that form. So we know if they land on this page that that was conversion. So those are what we track for what was successful and who actually submitted a, a request from our website. We also have one for employment. So this is specifically to track our job applicants. So it remarkets to them. Um, anyone who visits our website, you know, interested in a job, this will remarket to them. Uh, small engine repair service. Uh, we were promoting that. We're kind of keeping on the back end for now. But anyway, this is to re-promote the small engine repair service. Anyone who visits this page of our website. All visitors is clearly anyone who's been to your website in the past 120 days. We've had 2,000 visitors. So we have anyone who's visited that page. Um, and we also have unsegmented pages, which are everyone who doesn't fall in one of these categories. So just for some examples here, um, if you don't want to show your existing customers certain ads, you may not want you may want to exclude this uh, this thank you page because they already requested a quote. Or you can target people who have not visited this thank you page, which are new clients. Um, so that that comes into um, that comes in when we set up our ad campaigns. So if we go to the ad campaigns here, you'll see where all this comes into play. So I'll again, I'll open up this one I was just showing you. Uh, so this is the inside of setting up your ad. So we turn on the ad. Uh, I think I clicked the wrong thing. We are going to click edit here. And this is going to show you the inside of your campaign. When you go to add new campaign, this is what it looked like. So you have different options here. Uh, we name the campaign here. Uh, you could do look alike. I, to be honest, I haven't used a lot of these. I've always used retargeting. Remember, retargeting your existing audience is always going to have a better conversion rate because they already have interest better than pulling cold people off the internet. But, and it's always cheaper as well. Uh, but we, so I generally use it for retargeting um, people who have already been to our website for whatever reason. Uh, so you set a budget here. Uh, you set your goal. So you want the maximum clip clicks, or you can you can try to set different uh, specifics uh, for for your ad in terms of cost per click, um, and it will. 
the system will automatically calculate and optimize your ad for those types of strategies. So this one's set to maximize clicks. So this is to get the most people to visit your landing page on your ad. Here's when you can set when to start running your ad. And this is where those audiences come into place. So these audiences are set here. Uh, so we're targeting people who are um, have been to any pages that aren't segmented. Um, we're excluding people who have already been, who have already requested a quote, so we're not remarketing to them. Uh, we're excluding job applicants. That's another good reason to have this on your page. You don't want to be advertising your ads, your services to people who are looking for jobs. Um, and then all visitors we're targeting here. Uh, you can set your state, so we don't want to advertise the people who have visited from people from different locations besides here locally where we do work. Um, you can choose your ad placements. Um, and this is where you can request the free ads I was telling you about. Uh, you select your actual ad itself here under ads. There's a square on the list and you can select which ad you're going to use. So that's, that's the basics of it. Uh, there's a lot more you can do with ad rule. I do not use those features currently, so I'm not going to go over them. They do have reports and that sort of thing. Uh, they have email campaigns, uh, so you capture people's emails. I don't know. We have different solutions for that, so I don't use those features. Um, you, if you use ad rule, uh, please comment below. Anyways, use ad rule suggestions on best ways to use it, best practices. I'd be happy to put up more videos about it. So uh, any other questions, check out our website at readybusinesssystems.com.